All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is take number three. We've had a bit of technical difficulties, but nothing, 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 nothing is going to stop me from showing you what I believe is the next stopping point for Bitcoin above, okay? Um, this is all not financial advice. This is all for educational purposes. And this is what I've derived from these charts for the last hour and a half. And I know a lot of people are looking for confluences and are uncertain about what's going to go. A lot of people don't even understand that technical analysis is a thing. And they're basing their, their price predictions and buying of Bitcoin and selling of Bitcoin off news, etc. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, everything is in these charts. Every single bit of price action. The news is just a catalyst to getting it to where it needs to go, to where the market wants it to go. So without further ado, let's go into the first thing. For all you Fibonacci people out there. Let it be known that this CC has been exhausted, okay? And so that in itself, the fact that we've gone through this global CC um, gives a lot of people with their heads, scratching their heads. So I'm going to take this, and I've, look, I've tried, I've went through all my technical knowledge database in my head, all my different tools, and Everything I know and have come to one conclusion, the most confluences we have on this chart are volume profiles, and they are pretty um, pretty amazing, actually. So what we're going to start with, we're on the weekly right now, so I want you to take a look at where price is right now. You can almost see, it may, it may be hard to tell, let's go ahead and just make this, uh, this line a little bit, now you can see it, it's more pronounced. That's where price is right now, 51,963. If you take a look over here, though, you can see zooming in, it really is at like almost resistance here, you know. It's like these wicks are all touching it. And so this isn't always how you can identify ranges, but we can see that above, price has not reached into these levels yet. So what this is is a previous volume profile that hasn't been tested yet. So we must identify and establish a volume profile for these levels, right? So I'm on the weekly now, but I'm going to really zoom into the daily and show you. So we have one here, which is the most recent. We also have one back here, okay? We're just going to establish them now. Now we're going to go back to the daily chart, and we're going to really hone in on these levels. All right, so I want you to take a look at this. Let's see what we have here. Um, actually, I think I'm going to take and call this impulsive. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take that out. Essentially, the value area low sitting right at 57000 as you can see, and um, it may be a little bit easier to see right there, okay, and over here, this one's not as important because it's not as recent, but uh, it's still, I believe it holds just as much weight, so I piddle paddle with this, with this one, trying to align these, and we do have some kind of alignment with this very area high in this point of control, but what's really beautiful about this level is if we take this all the way here, to March 14th, 2020, and come over to, say, right around where this is as well. I want you to take a look at this. This point of control for this entire, for the last, for two years, from March, so from March 11th, 2020, all the way until March 16th, 2022, which is two years, the most volume was transacted at this value area low of this previous range. Right here, this blue line accounts for the most volume transacted. Okay? I uh, can have it in so many ways. So right there, this is low. We're laughing our value area low right at 57,000. That's two really, really significant influences. Our third, and really what seals the deal for me, is over here in Excel charts. We have all the BTC USD history. I, I had this on a five-year Took really long for this to load. This is five years showing all the weekly naked point of controls. This is five years showing all the monthly naked point of controls and all the dailies. The only one we have above is one on the daily at 66,000. Um, and then one, guess what, on the weekly at, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you take a look at this? What number is this below? 57,000 to the T right there. Our naked point of control, untapped, massive level. That's three solid confluences there. Now, our other confluence we have this. Do we have this 
786. See, 786 aligning at 57,000. It's, it's at 57,684 right there. Um, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit more. Something tells me it could be here, but nonetheless, uh, am I on the very bottom here? No, come up a little bit. There. So regardless, it's close by. Um, so yeah. Um, not as strong nearly as these other ones, but a really big part of this puzzle is this. So you guys can see this. Ignore that Fibonacci. You can count it as a confluence. But take a look at this as well. This volume node right here. This is our 57,000. You see this large volume node right here? We have one here as well, indicating the value very high. We have these here, a couple here there then we have this point of control which is just all the way out this is the global now take into account that this volume node right here aligns perfectly with our value area low right at 57,000 which also happens to be taken from here one second let's choose a, choose a different one um there you go. There you have it. This accounts. All these align right there. Our naked point control is right at 57,000. We can go to mark that if we want. Weekly naked point control there at 57,000. I mean, so those outlines right there. see this high volume node it's gonna be right there that's just my opinion and I think if we look at all these aside I think we come down to probably retest this global value area low sorry global value area high we keep the short stop loss short pretty like pretty much like around hey if it gets to 58.6 Let's say if it gets to three percent stop loss, is nice. We have a five to one risk reward ish here. If it gets to fifty eight thousand four fifty five, we're wrong. You know, this should not get. This might go to fifty eight thousand on a crazy wick, but if you want to safeguard yourself, feel free to go more. Still four to one risk reward there. Personally, I believe fifty seven thousand fifty seven. Eight seven, nine will be the top of this, and we're going to come back down, and it'll be a nice short. That's my two cents. That's the most confluences I've found on this. I dare someone else to show me more confluence on this. Like I said, if you can find more confluences than this, um, please comment in my video. If not, just like and subscribe because I doubt you will find anyone showing you the confluences I've shown you. At 57,000 above. Take care.